and welcome back and this is frozen melon i'll be continuing on with our jury run again so the last game so it was a few days ago for me but so for you guys which is for the next day so we did face off against that mage and again we did play more of a greedy style of gameplay just to try and eke out as much fun as we could do in that last game which turned out well so our first game today so if we next another warrior so I'm going to have to probably go very careful to attempt to the last time. Protect the wild. We don't have the coin, I do want to drop. So we'll toss it the three here to try and get one. We do get one, not the best one, but we do get one. Got three. If we get a four drop, this would be quite a nice curve. So I hope everyone's doing alright at the moment. So we're all feeling well and having our good games to ourselves, hopefully. Myself been doing alright. Usual is trying to keep busy. I said I will probably end up Something running a new game on. after this one. And I said if anyone does have some ideas of what class you would like me to play, I said you can always put down in the comments if you do see your comment there. I said do turn around and follow up with a like just so that if I do see that and like that class appears, I will try and pick it for you guys as well. Because then you can see just how good or bad I am with that class. I've got exotic wares and funnel cakes. <laughs> So here I'm going to play this one. Make the trade there. Hero power. Push the rest of face. So the person here, I think, is going to out tempo me. Well, out, sorry, out value me. Probably more likely, especially because you're able to get that other card earlier. And now you get some nice rush minion. Have some fun. Straight into the first arbor up. See if he's got another fast answer. So technically I should be able to play these together if I'm reading the card correctly. See if that is correct. Yes, it is. It's always one of those things where you do see a mechanic like this. The first taunt menu you play each turn costs two less, so you're never too sure if it activates on the turn that you play it or the next turn afterwards. So, again. It was always worth trying the science. So what's good news about what my opponent's played so far is, although they've played some really good value cards, they have had to use fast answers. This probably means most of his cards are going to probably more likely... ...is that late game play. Gonna play the biggest thing here. Next turn, we're playing the bees and the arbor up. No tomb can hold me. Fellow me. No, that's not right. No tomb can hold me. So it's quite a fun play. Kill the one man minion. 
the one health minion. Play the Arbor up. Now he can play quite a nice board out here. Astonishing. And give his minions divine shield. Does he have an answer for this board? A diet high in iron. King's honor, friend. So I'll play the big minion here because it'll be hard for me to get this out later. And again, it forces him to use the face hit to try and clear if he wants to, or again, have more fast answers. Like I could have just used this and maybe kept it at one health. And here are power that maybe played these two together. Sounds okay, just to trade in. 7% bigger that I could have played with this, or a 6 mana card, but I don't have very many in the deck. So, at least it's another threat, and I've got a fast answer along the way as well. I might play these with a hero power to kill that minion off. See, this play here from my opponent, although it would seem like a good play, I don't think it is. Because if he's got something he can play out now, he can build tempo on me, which would be a good idea to do. Unfortunately, what he's decided to do is waste three mana to gain value for later turns. Now, this is not, not necessarily a wrong play, but I just don't see at the moment how that benefits him as well. Because he knows that this dice with hero power. So you see now I can kind of like take back the board because he played that three mana card. Even if he just played a big minion, it would have been better because there's more likely I wouldn't have been able to deal with it. Especially as a druid class, you have a real hard time dealing with sort of bigger minions. So this he should have played last turn. Now there are a few other dream cards he gets, which is the one that does 5 damage to the entire board. There is also the one, the other two minions that come with it as well, the 7-6 and the 3-5 that can be targeted what by spells and hero powers. So he's got those two other cards to use as well. And this does give really good value, but I think you should have played the earlier turn. No. So we'll just see if he has a, an answer for this minion here.
I can play everything out here, so that's what we'll do. Use the bees there. Said I'm dead anyway on board, I think, so it's game. But it's nine. Yeah. See what they do. Yeah, they found it out. a bit unlucky in that game. So thanks all for watching and I will see you in the next one.